We're still in Exeter for our next loft visit and this is Bill Wiley, top sprint racer. Hi. Good afternoon Bill. Good afternoon Keith, nice to see you. It's nice to see you mate. Yeah, thanks for coming down. Yeah. Can you remember one or two of your best performances? Ooh, I suppose one of the best performances really was put up by a bird called uh, Jumbo and um, he won the Federation uh, several times and I think his best performance was uh, second, first fed, second section, uh, second open uh, from Luxembourg back in 1974 yeah, and that. for his efforts that year he won the Queen's Coronation Trophy. Yeah, how far is that? Oh, 460 odd mile. Yeah. What sort of racing do you like? You like sprint racing? Um, at the moment is basing around the sprint racing. Um, really, I like to try everything from the shortest race really to the longest race. Yeah. And I think um, trying to get a team of Woodwards together um, to, to do the distance is a lot harder than people think. Yeah. Well, what, um, how long have you been in the sport? Oh, 30 plus years. Yeah. How many times you won the Federation? Oh, total, I suppose, 20 plus, 30 plus times. Yeah, it's a terrific performance, mate. This is my checker cock J0247. Uh, I bought this one, it's a Janssen, I bought it at the uh, North Road Fed Cell and he was sent down from Brian Venning of uh, Weymouth in Dorset and as a young bird it won uh, and it, it's won ever since, yearling, two year old and now three year old. Yes. This particular year he's won the Open twice, uh, also fourth Open and seventh Open. It was on the Woodward. Uh, and on the Woodward, and he's won many fed positions, six or seven on his own. Yeah, it's a lovely um, pigeon, he's absolutely brilliant looking pigeon, isn't he? And it's come down from uh, the Jansen Lofts at, uh, at Weymouth. What system do you race in, Bill? Well, I used to race the natural system, but over the last three or four years I've gone over to the Woodward system. Uh, it gives me great pleasure, even to see some of the later birds uh, turn up. Uh, it's just a thrill seeing them trap yeah. and pull out the sky. Yeah. Do you show the hens on Friday night? I do show the hens on Friday night. Um, they're kept away, uh, locked up in the shed in, uh, in individual boxes and just before basketing to go down to the club they, they, the coppers have shown the ends. Yeah, how long do they get the hen for on a Saturday afternoon? Um, it varies from 30 minutes to 3 or 4 hours yeah. depending on the race. Yeah, what do you feed? Uh, this year I've gone over to Bosmolin. Yeah. Do you um, break down? I break down on Saturdays uh, with uh, depurative Sundays, Mondays and normally start building up again on Tuesdays. Yeah. Do you usually anything in the water? Yes, um, there are certain uh, specifics that uh, we get from Gem Supplements and I advise anybody wanting to try anything to give Brian Wall a ring and ask his advice. These are a few of your cocks then Bill, how many cocks do you race? Well this is a total of them Keith, this is uh, just the nine that I've got and one at present injured. Um, but the, the strains are basically Janssen's, Van den Bosch and Bushart. Yeah. Why would you put the blocks in the nest boxes? Uh, just for resting. Well, they certainly them, do they? Yeah, you come in and just have a peep at them and you find them quite happily resting on them. Yeah, they look well, mate. They look very well. Well, most of them are prize winners, first prize winners, and several of them uh, are combine winners. Three combine winners in there. Yeah, And nearly all first prize winners. Well, this is a bush art cock and this one gives me great pleasure because as a two year old he won the open with the WCA and it was a gift bird from Mick Hazel at Pentar Stud down in Cornwall and it's just been a terrific pigeon for me and this year I decided to put in its stock. This is a scene inside the stock lock. How many stock pairs do you keep Bill? 14 at the moment Keith. Um, what what families are they? Well, they range from uh, De Clax, uh from Ian Axe. Uh, I got Bush Arts uh, from Manchester. Um, I got the Vanden Bosch, which I'm just starting to try out. And they're down from Bobby Lane up in Birmingham. And I've only got one on the Widower system at the moment, but that one will top the combine already this year as a yearling. Um, 
Where'd you pair your stock birds up? The, the stock birds are paired up uh, towards the middle, middle of the end of January. What do you look for when you're selecting stock birds in, Bill? Um, well, I like a nice balance in the pigeon. But several years ago, we, had a, we were very fortunate that Doug McClary uh, had Brian Vickers there. And he visited the club and uh, he came round and, and done an eye sign evaluation on the pigeons. And ever since then, I've gone over not solely to eye sign uh, in selecting stock birds, but it, it bears a great importance to me on the, the selection of stock birds. Yeah. How about training your old birds? Uh, training with the, the old birds, uh, they get maybe six to ten tosses before the season starts, anything up to about 23 miles, 30 miles. Uh, and I would never have believed it at one time, but after that they don't get trained and they still win. Do you, did your cocks go out twice a day? They go out twice a day. Uh, the first time is quarter past six of the morning. Yeah. Uh, and they're out for an hour. Uh, I've got to get them in then because I've got to you know, be able to work for half past seven. And they go out again either uh, late afternoon when, when the wife lets them out or when I come home from work and I let them out. Well, this is a loft. Uh, the overall length is 26 feet, and I've got 8 feet for uh, the Widower Racing, of which there's uh, 14 nest boxes. I've got two sections for young birds, and I try to breed about between 50 and 60 young birds. And I've got the third set or the fourth section for the stock birds. Would you trap for open doors? Traps for open doors, yeah. These are your babies in, Bill. How far do you race them? Well, the furthest race point is Eastbourne, and that's uh, approximately 163 miles. Yeah, and what do you feed your babies? Uh, they, these are being fed on Versa Lager Young Bird Extra. Yeah, how about training? When do you start training? Well, uh, I'd like to start training about five or six weeks before the first Young Bird race, and I'll try to get them up as near as I can to the uh, first race point. You certainly look well, mate. I see you've got chippings on the floor. Uh, the, the soil or chippings on the floor in this section is just purely because I've got some younger uh, youngsters here and it just helps to keep it that more yeah. dry with the babies. Thanks very much for me around today, Bill. It's been a great pleasure to see you, Woodward Pigeons. Well, thank you very much, Keith, for taking the time to uh, visit us. I'm sure it's been a, a nice visit for you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>